Hello viewers, welcome to Fahmina's Creation. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet cluster stitch in few very simple steps. So let's start then. To crochet the cluster stitch, we'll start by creating a slip knot. And then uh, we'll uh, do chain spaces. The chains uh, will do should be in even numbers, but you can increase or decrease the number of chains you will need depending on the your project. Uh, if you are making a scarf or a blanket um, or a table runner, just uh, measure the width of the project and then chain the same size of the width of your project. Here I'm going to show you a very small project and I'm going to chain 20. Let's start uh, yarn over and pull through the slip knot to create a chain space. Yarn over and pull through again to create another chain space. So just carry on creating the chain spaces according to your uh, project need, uh, according to the size of the width of your project, and then meet me after that. Just uh, bear in mind that the number of chains should be in uh, even numbers. So I've finished doing 20 chain spaces. Now I'm going to create three more chain spaces to start row one. So this should be uh, counted as a double crochet. And then I'll skip one chain and from the fifth chain of the uh, hook, I will start doing my cluster stitches. First I will yarn over and then I will go to the fifth chain space from the hook and then pull up a loop. I will yarn over again and pull through only first two loops. There will be two loops in the hook then I will yarn over again. Go to the same chain space and pull up another loop. Four loop on the hook at that time then I'll yarn over and pull through just fast two loops there will be three loops remaining yarn over again go to the same chain space and pull up another loop yarn over and pull through fast two loops so there will be four loops remaining on the hook so yarn over for one last time uh, go to the same chain space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through first two there will be five loops on the hook yarn over and pull up pull through all five loops that's it our first cluster is ready just chain one to finish off let me show you one more time so then we'll skip one chain space and then we'll go to the next chain to create our cluster. Yarn over, then go to the chain space and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through just two uh, loops. We won't finish here. We'll carry on doing more uh, clusters. Yarn over and go to the same chain space, pull up a loop, then yarn over pull through first two only then there will be three loops on the hook at that time then yarn over go to the same chain space pull up another loop yarn over and pull through just past two loops four remaining loops on the hook then yarn over again go to the same chain space pull up another loop yarn over pull through only fast two loops there will be five remaining loops on the hook yarn over for one last time and pull through all five loops chain one to finish off the cluster so let's carry on doing this so we'll ch uh, skip one chain and then in the next chain we'll do our clusters yarn over go to the chain space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through fast two loops two remaining loops yarn over 
go to the same chain space pull up another loops yarn over pull through first two loops there will be three remaining loops yarn over go to the same chain space yeah pull up a loop yarn over pull through two there will be four loops on the hook yarn over go to the same chain space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through fast two loops so that's five loops on the hook at that time that means it's our final steps yarn over and pull through all five loops and chain one to finish off the cluster so can you see how it's taking the shape it looks like leaves and creates beautiful design so you can make so many projects with that i'm making a, a mobile phone cover for uh, with this stitch so the amount of work you can do using the cluster stitch is endless and it looks so beautiful if you make uh, blankets with it or scarves so i'm just going to carry on uh, doing uh, the clusters and at the end of the row i will show you how to move on to the next row So we have come to the last cluster of this row, yarn over, we will skip one chain and go to the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through fast two, yarn over, go to the same chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through only fast two, yarn over again, go to the same chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through fast two, yarn over, go to the same chain, yarn over and pull through first two that's five remaining loops yarn over and pull through all five loops chain one to finish up the cluster so i started with 20 chain spaces that's why i've got 10 clusters so if you have a specific number of clusters that you want for your project just double the amount of chains let's start row two we'll start by creating three chain spaces We'll do that at the beginning of each row. Then yarn over, find the big hole space created from the cluster of a previous row. Go there and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. Then yarn over again and go to the same chain space. Yeah, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through first two. There will be three loops. Yarn over again, go to the same chain space. Yarn over, pull through first two again. Yarn over, go to the same chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through first two loops. There will be five loops on the hook at that time, yarn over and pull through all five loops. Chain one to finish up the cluster. Then we will go to the next big hole space created from the cluster of previous row, yarn over and go to this chain space and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over go to the same chain space pull up a loop yarn over pull through fast two 
three loops remaining on the hook yarn over go to the same chain space again pull up a loop yarn over and go to go through fast two yarn over again same chain space pull up a loop yarn over and go through fast two uh, loops so there will be four five uh, loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all five loops and chain one to finish off the cluster just get you on doing this uh, until we come to the end of row two and then I'll show you how to move to row three We have come to the last cluster of row 2 so we are going to find the hole big hole from the previous uh, rows cluster can be a bit tricky uh, to find the last uh, one so yarn over go to the chain space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through fast two loops yarn over again go to the same chain space pull up a loop yarn over pull through fast two again three loops on the hook yarn over same chain space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through first two loops four loops remaining yarn over go to the ch same chain space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through first two yarn over and pull through all five loops and then chain one to finish off the cluster so that's the end of row two to start the row three we'll turn our work around and start by creating three chain spaces then we'll find out the big hole big chain space from previous rows cluster yarn over go to that uh, chain space pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through fast two loops yarn over go to the same chain space pull up another loop yarn over and pull through only fast two loops yarn over go to the same chain space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through fast two loops yarn over go to the same chain space pull up a loop yarn over and go through fast two space there's five loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all five loops and chain one to finish off the cluster so just carry on crochet the cluster stitch with me i'm going to create four more rows if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and press the bell button for more videos like this if you have already subscribed me please like and share these videos with others thank you so i have finished crocheting four more rows so total i have crocheted seven rows now i'm going to finish off my project once you finish your project just do a slip stitch to finish off and cut your yarn Thanks for watching the video with me, bye for now, take care.